Hey guys, and welcome to S-Zone. My name is Sven. My Twitch TV name is Very Soft Hands. And I'm going to be making a whole bunch of YouTube videos and Twitch videos on walkthroughs for quests. Because this game can be quite difficult to find the location of where to complete the quests and where to get the items. I'm also going to be clumping a whole bunch of quests together at different times in my videos to help speed up your leveling. It's much faster to do multiple quests at a time than it is to run out and do one quest and come back and do that for each quest. So this is the character creation screen for S-Zone. And I'm not going to go through it because you guys can read it and pick different characters on your own. I will say, however, if you want to be a sniper, it will be many, many, many hours and possibly days of gameplay before you can even get a sniper weapon to be better at sniping with your skilled trees talent points. So if you're not going to play if you're not a hardcore gamer with a lot of time on your hands, I don't recommend going the sniper route. You got a bunch of different selections here. Uh, I'm going to just go random a few times and see what I get. Oh, this is good. <laughs> I'll go with this one. Don't worry about your non-camouflage shirt. If you're not going to go PvP, which I'm not going to, it doesn't really matter. So it's just enjoyable to see. Oh, it's available. Excellent. Very soft hands. I'm level 1. I have some health. Your health regenerates at 0.2 per second. Stamina is for running. That will regenerate as well. So your character, this isn't a game that your character needs, you, that you'll lose health or stamina throughout the game without doing anything. You always recover health and stamina for the most part. You don't need to keep eating and drinking throughout the game to keep those things up. Let's do the tutorial. So this video will just be about the tutorial. Here you can see I am a two-faced monster facing both directions. It's actually two different guys here. I'll just walk forward. <laughs> Here's where we start. See his Zaza, that's his name, above his head. The little white running character indicates he's a human player. And the little gear symbol next to the human player is critical for the rest of the game. That gear symbol means you can interact with the object that your center mouse pointer right here is pointing at. Right now there's nothing. But as I move my center mouse pointer over the character, it says I can interact with him. If you press escape in options, your controls will show you all of your controls here. I'm just going to use the simple basic setup so that there's no confusion in my videos between your keys and my keys. I recommend that you uh, change your video settings. This game did not auto-detect my video settings, and it had the wrong screen size, it had the wrong aspect ratio. So I had to change that, and that improved my game quite a bit. And if you want, I'm going to run with show frames per second and ping as well. And you can, uh, I would recommend when you're starting out to use the tutorial hints as well by clicking that box. I'm going to turn it off for now. 
Alright, here's my character. Very soft hands. He looks a little scared and timid. There are a lot of dead bodies out there. This guy, he's a human, just like me. It's a little white man above him. Little white man. Pressing the interaction key, which is F, often just does the trade screen. Do you want to trade with this character? And then they would have to select yes as well to initiate a trade. Moving around is with the ASW and the D keys, common for many games <laughs> like this. And this character here, he does not have a little white human running picture. And in the middle here, he's got a dialogue bubble and a green arrow above his head. Green arrow shows up from far away. Quite big. There's one behind this truck as well. When you see the green arrow, you should go and talk to the guys. So here we go. Interact with him. Press the F key. He's going to go through a dialogue. And this is how you get your quests. You can spend the time to read it. I'll let you guys do that on your own. If you'd like, I'm just going to make these videos a little bit quicker after this introduction video and not really read the things and just show you where to go because that's what you guys want that's what you guys are watching these videos for so I picked up a quest from him how I know oh maybe I didn't item added rusty Makar pistol and I gained some experience a few moments while talking to him. I want to press the F key again. It's often good times to press the F key a few times on the character even after you finish the dialogue with him because he might have something else to tell you that he didn't originally have to tell you. After you get the first quest from him or after you speak with him he might like you a little bit better and talk to you a little bit more. But he does not. So over here in the chat, when you pick up new quests, it'll show up here. It'll say quest item added or, or quest added. For him, he just gave me a, a pistol. Pressing I will open up my inventory. And he gave me this pistol here. There's some stats on it. And right clicking on any item in, in here or in most screens in this game, you can select various things. Add to favorites, drop it on the ground, you can try to repair it if you have some repair skills. I'm just going to click on info and it shows info about this gun here. It says that it can hold nine bullets, semi-automatic, takes 2.3 seconds to reload. Don't try to fire during your reloading of the gun. During the reload, it'll show a green bar down here, right where my butt is. And as the green bar is climbing, it's reaching that 2.3 seconds. If you try to press your fire button, which is your left mouse button, during the reloading, before the green bar completes, reaches 100%, your gun may jam. And then, you might not even notice that it's jammed, but when you try to fire, like on this guy, and pressing the right, correction, the left mouse button, it'll actually say gun jammed, and you won't be able to do anything. To fix a jammed problem, press the R key, which is the reload key, to reload the gun, and that will fix the jam. Now, if you're being attacked at that time, you're probably going to die, because it takes another 2.3 seconds to reload. The type of ammo, this category right here is very helpful to know in the future when you own different guns. You'll want to go to the info and see which type of ammo you're going to need for those guns. And then go to the ammo trader. There will be different non-player characters, NPCs, called ammo traders. And you'll purchase your ammo from these guys. So you'll need to know which type of ammo goes with your particular gun here. As you see, when you move your mouse over the gun, just to see quick info, it doesn't tell you what type of ammo 
but it does in the info screen. Also, if you follow my mouse down here, once we equip the gun, it'll show you what type of ammo that gun will use. Alright, let's equip it. Boom! This guy must be scared. Tramp must be scared. Pressing U will open up your character's inventory of what you have on your on your person equipped. So now you see that I've got the rusty. I'm just going to call it the PM now. I have no grenades or I don't have a backpack. I don't have any of these items yet. And a mask. And I don't have a primary weapon so they're saying the pistol is your secondary weapon. We don't have ammo yet. Pressing J will open up your quest journal. Nothing here. Let's go for a little walk here. Holding down the shift key will use up on the top left here. Here's my character. Very soft hands. I'm level 1. Green is my health. You lose the green, you die. Blue is my stamina. I'm going to use a little bit of stamina here. <coughs> I'm holding down the shift key while I'm pressing forward and that's my sprinting option. <laughs> I'm going to let go now and notice that the stamina is climbing back again at a quick rate. Your health does not climb that quickly. So we're here, we're supposed to be inspecting this vehicle here. And here, look at this. I just picked up some ammo. I wanted to do it before that guy came. There's that guy there. I moved my mouse over that and you saw the little gear symbol above my mouse cursor right around here. And so I press the interact key and then I press the collect all key. I'm going to show you that in your controls here. I'm going to scroll down. Right here. Take all. X. So interact is F and take all as X. You are going to use those two buttons a lot. So this is a little ammo box. It kind of has more colors than other things that are a little blander. There's another colorful thing. For this game it's colorful anyways. It's indicating that it's not a normal object, just a background object. It has some sort of interaction feature. From a distance you'll be able to tell. And when I was down here I moved my camera angle like this and I was able to see that right here on the top of the screen were colorful items and, I was, and that indicates that you should probably go and take a look with this cursor to see if you can interact. So I, I jumped up, I moved my mouse over it and above here there is a little gear symbol. I pressed my F key to interact with it. It showed a little box right around here said what was in it and I pressed my X key to take all the items and you can see I got some items from it. I got 14 rubles which is the currency of this game. Pressing I will show you your inventory screen and down here is how many rubles you have. Game rubles. I also gained some ammo. 27 ammo for my gun. That's great. And I got this from this random box on the ground here. In your inventory here as well, you'll see a different kind of currency. It looks like gold from other games. This is actually money that you spend for out of your credit card or your bank that you give to the game. And they'll give you in-game currency that can be used at certain vendors that will actually sell you really good items. Excuse me. I haven't spent any money on that. Here, here's something very important. This is your weight. It says right now in my backpack I have one pound of items. And it says in my backpack I can have a maximum of 33 pounds in my backpack. When you reach that maximum weight you will no longer have stamina. You will no longer be able to, to sprint. 
let's show you something further along those lines. So after, once you get more than 33 pounds in your backpack, you can no longer sprint. You'll still be able to walk and move around, no problem. So there, max weight, 33 pounds. 33 pounds. But overweight, you can actually get your backpack items in your inventory up to 47 pounds and still be able to move around the game world, no problem. Once you exceed this 47.86 pounds in your inventory backpack, you will no longer be able to move. You will be st stuck in place until you grab something like this and release the mouse button and drop it. Or right click and drop on the ground. It'll ask you, are you sure? I'm going to say no, but you say yes. And as you drop items on the ground, you will lose the weight of that item and hopefully get under that overweight and be able to move again and then you should go to a town and sell your items or store them. Here on the ground is another colorful box you see right here, this ammo symbol. Ammo with the gears, I'm going to press F. And, oh, as we're in the tutorial, you don't need to take all. And as you see, it gave me another 12 rubles and some more ammo. 27 pieces. Looks good. I press the R button to reload my gun. Because remember, when we had pressing U to see my gun, we had seen the info of my gun. It originally said I had 0 of 9. So, but we knew we had some 9x18 9 by 18, 9 by 18 ammo in my backpack. So I pressed R to reload the gun. And now we have some ammo. And down here, as I said, it now says that in my secondary weapon we, it requires 9x18 ammo. And I actually have 45 of that right now. This box has an interaction symbol and a green symbol. I'm going to press F. Heavy military crate fell out of the truck. Check it. It says item added. Ammo, 9 by 18 162 pieces. You know, you might think, well, that's weird because right here, on the bottom right of the screen, it didn't add another 162 pieces of ammo that I just picked up. That is because is of a different type of ammo. The 45 that we have, let's take a look here, is a damp ammo. And the 162 pieces that we picked up is just regular 9 by 18. Don't not to worry. After you use up the 45 ammo and press R for reload, it'll automatically switch to your next 9 by 18 ammo that you have in your in your bag. Both are 9 by 18 so both can be used in your weapon. It doesn't matter if it has a negative 1 or a HP for hollow point after the 9 by 18 all the 9 by 18s will be automatically used in your weapon. So lots of these people are running around here. This guy's having a hard time jumping up. If you ever are like him and you can't jump up like that back up. Take one step back like that and then jump and you'll be able to go higher. This guy is a human. He's runner, interact. This guy is human. Here's the truck. We're going to follow the flares down the road. We're heading uh, southeast here. Pressing M will show you. You can look at this orange character right here, center on player. It'll put you in the center of the screen. And we just came from this area here with the green smoke. And we're going to be traveling down the road to wherever we go. You can zoom in and out by using your scroll wheel. And quests and different things will show up here and other non-player characters will show up here that are important. Right now we're in the station map here, it's called Station. You'll be able to select other maps as you discover them by selecting this drop-down menu here. You can also zoom instead of the scroll wheel, you can zoom with this button here. But for now, I recommend doing the tutorial first. It'll get you 
a small amount of experience and it'll get you a lot of ammo. And that ammo will be very useful coming up because ammo is quite expensive. We have a guy walking towards us here. You're going to end up killing people like this later on. But he's station security. He doesn't he's a non-player character. This guy has a green mark over his head. I'm going to actually talk to all the non-player characters on this map. It's good to do that because you never know who has a quest for you and who doesn't. This guy's name is Station Master. Who are you? Mutants he's talking about. So, sounds kind of scary. Bye. New quest I just got from him, talking to him. It's called From a Frying Pan into the Fire. I'm going to click on him again. I chose that one last time. I'm going to choose this one this time. Nothing. He didn't give me a quest down here. Well, that's alright. Finish dialogue. You have a quest now. The green means it's brand new or there's an update to the quest. You can click on it and it shows you what he wants you to do. This key symbol means it's a primary task. It's a primary quest along the chain of quests. Other ones you don't necessarily need to do, but I strongly recommend that you do them if they don't have this key symbol. It will get you valuable experience uh, and, and money and different items and experience. So he wants me to kill five rats near the station. I'm going to click here. Look at this. Follow up the task. Up here on the mini-map it shows you where to go. Not all quests, and I will tell you, the majority of quests, when you say track this quest by selecting this button here, will not show you anything here, or by pressing M, will not show you on the big map where to go. And that's why I'm doing these videos. Maybe in the future they will show you, but for now they don't. And so it's saying right there is a quest, and it's saying because I've selected this, this man here, Station Master has shown up in green. Look at this, watch this. Unselect him. He disappears and in other levels he'll actually turn white and you'll lose it. So it's saying there's a guy in the Station Master that is related to a quest and so you should look it up. Whoa, which guy is the Station Master? Station guy. What does he want? He wants five rats. We're just going to talk to everyone because this is how you can quest quicker. He needs some repairs. We don't have anything to repair. If you want to quest the most eff efficient way, you should talk to everyone before going out into, into the quest world. He doesn't have anything for me. The doctor here. Doc, I was bitten. The doc just gave me 18 experience and a car medic kit. I'll show you real quick here. You'll be able to read that on your own, but it basically will give you some health when you're injured out in the field if you use it. I'm not a stalker. An interesting conclusion. He has nothing for me there. You can then buy items from him by selecting it and dragging it down, and then it tells you the price. 225 rubles to buy this meta kit. As you can tell, things are very expensive. I only have 26. Ouch. <laughs> this guy is a human, 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 human. Ooh, here's a good thing. Sometimes you're going to move your mouse over the non player characters. Remember, non-player will be this guy that you should interact with. And you can't actually select him. You'll keep pressing F and you'll get nothing. You won't even see these on top. That actually happened when I walked up to him. Like this. What you need to do is press the N key. N. 
and that will make everyone around you disappear that's a non-player character. I recommend you do this in crowded areas. Look at this, it simplifies who you can talk to and who you can't. All the human players have now disappeared by pressing the N key. I'm gonna suggest you get them back though, once you go out into the playing field. So you can see who's going to be looting animals around you and who's going to be killing animals around you. But I'm going to press N for now. It might even help with your frame rate, who knows. But let's interact with this guy. How's business? Silver rubles. Show me your goods. We're trading. He has, he has uh, some gear to buy, but look at this. That means it norm lots of times when it's orange and it says that uh, GR there and one GR that's actually this type of money I don't have any so I can't afford it zero rubles these are your rubles so we can't buy anything from them but I'm gonna interact with them again how's business show me your goods he's got nothing to s talk to me about knacker here He's saying we can give him some hairs for some ammo. That's really good because it's free ammo. So I recommend you do that as much as you feel like you have time for before leaving the tutorial map. This guy's the armor trader. How's business? Let me see your goods. These are not an orange. So you move it down here, it costs rubles instead of real money. And these are all expensive, I can't afford any of them. He doesn't have anything else to talk about. Station security. Normally it's security guys you can't talk to. How you tell there's no dialogue bubble in between these two symbols. Nothing he has to say. How are you doing? Do you have a license? Show me your goods. This guy is an ammo trader, like I told you about earlier. He's got good ammo, costs 54 rubles. I, there's no way that I even have that much money right now. That is the cheapest ammo you'll ever see in the game. <laughs> Let me just tell you right now. All right, there's another guy down here. Oh, he's just security. Security. Here's a guy. Danila, what's the matter? Finish dialogue. Just gonna go around the building, make sure there's no one on the outside of the building. You should do this in all places that you go to because sometimes there are people you can interact with on the outside of the building, standing around. Okay, there's our Mohawk friend. Alright, quest time. We're tracking it, kill five rats near the station map here, we're at the station here, showing in white another character we talked to, the ammo trader. Kill the rats that are southeast, I'm now looking southeast, and look at all these red marks here, red, red. I'm gonna warn you again, not all tracking of quests will tell you who to attack. I'm so searing the videos because it's frustrating, you won't know what to attack a lot of the time. Let's go pick up these tails that this guy's leaving behind. When you kill things, the animals often will leave a body, a dead carcass. But I don't see any here. It'll happen later. To fire, I zoom in. I stop moving. And then I zoom by pressing the right mouse button. And then holding that button down. I then pull the trigger button. Notice there's a body left behind, I move my mouse over it, nothing. 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 I'm looking for the gear symbol. Mm -hmm. 
This is a dead human. You can tell by this symbol right there. Nothing to do. So the rats must have got the better of him. Well, I've completed the quest. There's no more red markers above the rats here. Or was out of ammo, so I just let it reload. It'll auto reload if you pull the trigger and you're out of ammo. I reloaded on my own there manually. I'm gonna run back to the station, still holding down the shift key. Straining my stamina. Well, I can't select him, I'm going to press N. Boom, I can now interact with him. Mutants retreat. Here is your main thing here. I've killed, gained some experience, quest journal update again. So from doing that quest, I gained 50 rubles. They gave me a reward for completing the quest of 202 rubles. And it says I completed from a frying pan into the fire. He just gave me a new quest here. A new quest crash. Press J. It's a new quest. It's a primary quest. You'll gain these experiences. Go to the crash site, it says. <coughs> so I'm going to go to the crash site. On my mini-map, it's to the southwest, and on my map here, we're going to go visit a person, I guess. You shift as often as you have stamina, or a big chunk of stamina. Here's a guy with a green arrow, and I'm coming up to him on the mini-map, so... Interact with him. It's now saying I should probably go back and tell the station master about what I learned from this guy. Cool little effect here. Don't think I want to go into there. Looks pretty hot. So let's go back to the station master on the map here. He's disappeared because I've interacted with him and he was part of the quest. How's my ammo doing? Have 162 of the other ones I picked up, and still 32 of that kind. Try to conserve your ammo. Don't go around killing all those rats for hours. <laughs> it's quicker to level down here, is your experience bar. It's quicker to get experience, not by killing the rats, but by doing quests. Pressing N. You can now ask him questions about this area. They call a map a zone. And I got a little confused when I first started reading about these zones. And it's, it's nothing overly complicated. He still has a green arrow over his head. And you know why? He gave me a new quest down here. Quest complete. New quest crash. I'm going to select that there, and notice that there is now no quest tracker. It is not telling me where to go for the quest of Crash. I'll let you know it's right here, to the northeast of the airport. So let's go on our way. Reselect N so that you can see other players. Every time you go buy a dead body, if you want to make sure you get money in this game, move your mouse over it. 
to see if there's anything you can loot from the thing that you just killed. How to tell if there's loot, there, that gear symbol will appear above your mouse. Alright, I went a little too far. Here I am, I went from the train station up to here, and this is where we're supposed to go. Don't normally go through the water in this game, it, it slows you down, it makes you cold, you can actually lose health. So lots of times there's, you don't have to go through water, there will be a little bridge. Oh, those guys killed those enemies here. These things I'm going to show you, there's one around the building here. They take two shots with your starter pistol. There we go, remains. One, two. If you don't hit them in a critical spot, I guess it could be a lot more than two shots. Remains, sorry, it's not a gear symbol. Remains. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to press F, interact, pick up this guy's tail. Interact, pick up this tail here. Interact. I'm going to, by picking up, I, you can either click on take all or click on the button. Or, sorry, press X. Picked up the tail. That's a whole lot of ammo wasted on this dude. <laughs> Oh yeah. So there's some dead bodies here. I'm just gonna pick up the tails because the ammo trader will trade. Picking them up, picking them up here. These guys aren't picking up anything and they're gonna lose out. All right, so it said, talk to, talk to this man. Well, this man is dead and there's a little gear symbol above his head right here. That means interact, so press F. Inspect the corpse, leave the body in peace. Quest journal updated, I got a hunting knife out of it. All these guys here are blowing their ammo. This guy, unfortunate, was a human player and he died <laughs> from being attacked by those things. Let's go see here. Most people don't actually pick up items. And I don't know why. See, now I'm showing I have ten tails from these creatures that I just looted. That's a good amount. I'm not going to waste any more time here. I'm going to go back to the train station. Oftentimes, to complete a quest, you need to return to the exact person that gave you the quest. And that's how you can complete it. Right now I'm on auto run. I double tapped the W key and now my hands are off the keyboard and I'm still running. Well, auto run is engaged. You can still move your mouse around like this and see. You can also hold down the shift key for running to use up your stamina and release, and it'll stay on auto run. To release auto run, so you won't run by your quest guy, press forward one time, and that will stop and cancel your auto run. I'm gonna press in here. Something gobbled the dude. He had a knife on him. Hmm. Thanks. Alright, quest complete. I gained a lot of experience that time. Yeah. I have some questions. I have some questions about the accident. Nothing new with this gentleman here. But he did. Well, actually, he's still got a green arrow above his head. How do I leave the zone? I have a question. I'm 
trying to discover why he has this green arrow above his head still. Normally that means there's something about them. No, there's nothing. Alright. Let's go to the ammo trader. That's the gun ammo trader. Show me the goods. I got some money now. I could buy some. Armor trader. Show me your goods. Where is the gentleman? Alright. I'm going to trade in my tails. Autofill, click that. It'll automatic by clicking that autofill and then selecting the type of ammo you want. It'll automatically take what's in your backpack to fill what you need to get that item. He's saying he'll for tails, he'll give me ammo. I'm going to click confirm. Trust me, you want to do this for your ammo. We now have 432 ammo. That is a lot. So now we've completed all the quests that I can think of. I'm just going to try this guy one more time. Might just be a bug. There are lots of bugs in this game. Nothing. So I think we're done in the tutorial area. To complete the tutorial area, you have to travel not that way, not to the southeast, but you need to travel to there, to the northeast. So point your character to the northeast and go for a run. That is where we finish this zone. So you should leave the tutorial with a over 400 ammo if you can, a medic kit, a knife, and a bill. The info on this bill. I believe you use this bill for later on. That was a rat hitting me just now. I'm not worried about it, these rats don't follow you very far. And their aggro range is not very big. However, later on, as you get to bigger animals, including rats, they will follow you and aggro at much farther range and attack you until you're dead. As you saw, those ones did not. Security guy, nothing to do with there. Misha. I'm going to go player versus enemy. PvP, if you know what you're doing, you shouldn't even be watching this video. <laughs> And you would select that one. Selecting player versus enemy, PvE, means that other characters normally cannot attack you. And you will not re normally receive no harm from other characters. There's a... But that's our video for today for the tutorial map on how to Leave the tutorial with the most ammo and a good introduction on character movement and and your inventory screens as well. So have a good one.